Hey guys, I hope you're well and welcome back. So today, whilst looking through my wardrobe, I realised I am damn bored of it. I'm bored of looking at the same clothes, I'm bored of not shopping, I'm bored of the outfits that I can't make out of these clothes, and I thought, I'm gonna raid my husband's wardrobe instead. So that's exactly what I've done. I've picked four outfits, four potential outfits, that I think could be quite cool if I wore them. I'm gonna show you what I picked out, and then I'm gonna show you the outfit that I've made and whether it worked and whether it didn't. And hopefully it will inspire you out there that maybe are living with a partner or another half and you can raid their wardrobe because it's really fun actually. I really, really enjoyed it. So let's get straight into it. Okay, so first up, I feel like I need to introduce my husband. He doesn't like talking to a camera like me. <laughs> but this is his pictures all on the screen. This is us getting married just in case you think he's not real. He is, I promise. He has been in multiple multiple bands over his lifetime. So a lot of his wardrobe is like band t-shirts, slogan t-shirts, that kind of vibe. And he doesn't tend to throw anything away, so he has them all. So the first t-shirt that I found in his wardrobe that caught my fancy was this one. Now this is bright orange, and obviously I love a bit of orange, but it's also got a really good message on the front. Obviously it's love music, hate racism. And I think if I'm right, he wore this for a gig that he did for this campaign with Get Cape, Wear Cape Fly, the band that he was in years and years ago, before I met him. But yeah, so I really liked this. I liked the message on it. I think the t-shirt's cool. I like the writing. It's actually very like um, retro, which I think is cool. And I'm thinking I might like tie it up or something like that. Because to go with this t-shirt, guys, we have an amazing find. This, this jacket. Sorry, but what? <laughs> How retro is this jacket? I don't even know where it's from. I have to ask him. It, obviously none of this stuff will be available online because like I said, it's probably quite old now. Um, but if there are similar things online I can find, I'll link them down below. But yeah, I just thought these would be cute together. This is a very retro kind of padded jacket. Um, it has orange in it, again. It's brown. This actually looks like it might be quite small for Chris, so maybe I can steal it if it looks good. Who knows? Let's see what these look like on me. <laughs> so, this is a t-shirt. I actually really like this t-shirt. Great message, obviously, but I really love the retro writing as well. And I folded it up a little bit, and so you can still see the text, but also you can see the jeans as well. I've popped it on with mum jeans and an orange belt that I found lurking in the cupboard. Um, and this is the jacket. Do you know what? I'm so impressed with this jacket and what it looks like with this t-shirt. Like, I'm gonna roll up the sleeves just to make it look a little bit more like it fits, but this literally fits me perfectly. I don't know how this fits, Chris. I might have to nick this, but from the side, look how retro this looks. Like, I'm literally, I'm loving this jacket. I'm really, really loving this jacket. I feel like it really works. I could easily wear this now to the supermarket. Let's face it, that's the only place I'm gonna be going. I could easily wear it there and no one would know it was my husband's, which is, Great, so yeah, really like this. <laughs> but yeah, how cute is this? Loving it. So, then we have a shirt. Now, I'm not a shirt kind of person. I don't feel like shirts suit me, but Chris wears a lot of shirts. So, I picked out <laughs> this fancy number. Chris loves a pattern shirt, and I really like the colors in this. I think it's very spring-like. I thought this would look cute either tied up in a little knot or open with a little vest top underneath. So I'm gonna give it a couple of tries and see what we come up with. Like I said, I'm not really a shirt kind of person. I don't feel like they really suit me around the neck. Although, with the hairband, I kind of like this one. It could work, guys. <laughs> How cute is this outfit? <laughs> I'm literally shocked. I didn't think this shirt would look like this. Um, I've tied it into a little knot just to make it like a bit of a crop top. And I've paired it with a cord tan skirt that I have from so long ago from Joni Clothing, which I've always loved. I feel like this kind of works for this time of year. I've popped on yellow headband just to keep it kind of the color going up towards my head. I think it looks really cute. I haven't got any shoes on again. I probably would go for like little sandals I need to tan my legs, let's ignore how blue they look right now. Um, or I would go some knee-high boots, maybe for that kind of 70s look. I really like when Chris wears this shirt because it has quite a 70s feel about it, a 70s print. 
I like obviously my citrus colours, so I do really like when he wears this, but I'm actually going to steal it from him because I think it looks better on me. <laughs> so let me know down below what you think, but yeah. I feel like a 70s queen, I love it. <laughs> oh, this is heavy. Okay, so then we have a t-shirt here. I just wanted to find a white t-shirt in his wardrobe. This was the first one I come across. I thought it was quite cool. It's got like a little picture of a wolf on it. When I picked this out, Chris was like, oh my God, that is old. But I really liked it and I thought it would go very nicely with his leather jacket. <laughs> so this leather jacket literally probably was the first thing that I saw Chris in. Um, he's wore it a lot actually. It's from All Saints. And yeah, it's very cool. I mean, it says it's extra small, but I think it will come up a little bit bigger on me. But I'm going for that like oversized leather jacket biker look. I think that could look cool. And I thought I'd keep it simple underneath with a little white t-shirt. Look at that. I mean, that is a great outfit. So yeah, I'm hoping this one is the safe option that holds this video together. Let's see. <laughs> I mean, hello. Sandy from Greece just walked in. <laughs> Chris would never, ever, ever let me borrow this leather jacket. I know that for a fact, because he loves it. But I think it looks really cute on me, I'm just saying. Um, it's a little bit oversized, but I feel like that's actually really nice. Like I like the fact that it's a little bit big because it comes a bit longer on me, which is something I always struggle. I hate cropped jackets on me. I've got a long body, cropped jackets just do not work. Really, really like how this looks. I think it looks quite cute. Um, I've got the t-shirt underneath as well. I did um, try to like tie it in a little bit of a knot. Seems it's old, I didn't think Chris would mind too much. Tie it in a knot and then fold it under to kind of give it a bit more of a crop top kind of vibe. But I mean, if this was like handed down to me, I would probably just cut it into like a crop top because it is a little bit long for me. But yeah, with the high-waisted jeans, I think it looks really cute and I do have on my Dr. Martins, although my feet are dying right now, I feel like it really completes this look and makes it look quite cool. But I really, really like this outfit. I feel like this could literally be something I picked out of my wardrobe. Then we have a, another shirt, but this is a shirt with a bit of a difference because it's kind of like a t-shirt material. I thought this could look quite cool. I really like the colour with this. I like to pull out like a lot of browns from my wardrobe now, a lot of nudes, and I don't have anything this shade in my wardrobe. So as soon as I saw this, I was like, actually, I could do wear it with that. I could wear it with this. So it kind of revamped a few things for me in my wardrobe, if that makes any sense whatsoever. I do not know. But anyway, <laughs> let's pretend it does. I think maybe if it was worn cropped, it could look quite cute. This is probably the most like masculine thing I have because I feel like this would be quite hard to make this look like feminine. So I'm gonna have to go with like the, like tomboy styling with it. But I'm not opposed to that. I think it looked quite cute. So let's just see how I'm gonna style this one up because God knows I have no idea. <laughs> let's be honest. <laughs> this was actually the shirt I was the most worried about because I felt like it was the most kind of masculine in color and in shape. Look how cool it looks. I've put it with my leather, well my pleather, um, pleated skirt, which I, even though it's kind of coming up to spring, I feel like you could probably still wear this. And actually this shirt, I mean, I've pulled it down so that it kind of fits really nicely and it's all tucked in, but um, I think it fits really nicely. I've also popped on my DMs. Now, looking on the screen, I'm not sure that these actually go with this kind of vibe outfit. So let's just take these off because they're killing my feet. I'm still trying to break these in, guys, and they're just not working. Probably wear some kind of biker boots with it, maybe some trainers. They did not work. But yeah, if you cut off my feet, I actually feel like this is quite a good outfit. I mean, I've rolled up the sleeves, which Chris is going to kill me because he hates when the sleeves go baggy. But I feel like this looks really cute. And also, I do have this um, leopard print. This is not Chris's. Do not worry. <laughs> I mean, <sighs> outfit or what? <laughs> I do have to go food shopping later, so maybe I could just wear this, although I usually just go in my um, jogging bottoms, so they might they might get a shock. I really, really like this. I feel like this shirt works really, really well. 
I probably could wear it with jeans, but I just felt like the skirt just kind of broke it up a little bit, made it a little bit different. So guys, that is me done raiding my husband's wardrobe. Do let me know down below in the comments which was your favorite outfit. Would you actually wear any of these outfits outdoors and will you be raiding your husband or your partner's or your boyfriend's or your girlfriend's wardrobe? I think you should. <laughs> Thank you as well to Chris who let me raid his wardrobe this morning. I had so much fun and I think actually he now has to beware because I am actually going to be in his wardrobe more than mine. If you're not already then hit the subscribe button to stay up to date with all of my videos. It's absolutely free and it's down there. It's a big red shiny button. Give it a press. Of course, I hope you're all staying well, staying safe and staying home right now. Um, I am actually filming a Lattes with Laura, which will hopefully be up next week. And I'm also doing a bit of a makeup video coming up soon as well, where you guys pick the makeup that I'm wearing. If you wanna know more about that, then follow me over on Instagram, because I will be asking on my stories for you guys to pick my makeup and things that I'll be using in the video. So yeah, it'd be great if you could follow me over there as well. Have a lovely day, guys. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you soon. Bye.